wow, this camera setup weighs more than the rat. Welcome to another Crimson Excursion. This is how the camera was before, and this is 10 millimeters. We got crypto going absolutely bazonkers. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Better not break it. This is the wide angle. This is the first time I've recorded any video with the wide angle lens on the DSLR. Everything's on autofocus. Let's make sure everything's tightened. Do have the camera on the tripod. I don't know if you guys can see the reflection. Gorilla pod tripod. This is going to be the first time I'm walking with it. We're about to run into a bunch of people. Did you say this? <laughs> kind of sketched out about him pulling me. I think we're going to have to go ahead and test that out. Hopefully nothing breaks. We are running a pretty heavy setup at the moment. I said I wasn't going to do this, but hey, I say a lot of things. This is why I usually bring the DRZ and do some mean donuts. He's going to piss on the wood chips. I wonder how the stabilization is on this thing since I am holding it. The GoPro is strapped to my chest, which makes everything much easier. I'm going to try and hold the camera as steady as possible. Here we go. First time on the damn DSLR. is 10 millimeters. This is about to be 18. 10. This makes me look like a complete beast. Like I'm a porn star or something. It is a complete different feeling. Wait, 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 wait. Hey. I am a righty. The only thing I'm worried about is the freaking tripod failing and the camera just completely tipping over. I am really digging the wide angle. I feel like I could go out and record stuff and actually capture it. It just looks like I'm making a movie all the time, which is awesome. I kind of dig it. Should I just risk it? Let me know if I should just risk everything and completely give no fucks and film on the DSLR all the time. It does have a flip out screen which could rotate. It could be way lower and I could still see something the GoPro can't do. Oh, here we have to do it. No, I won't. So this is pretty heavy when you're not holding it by the tripod. I need to start working out, if anything. If this mic doesn't sound good, because maybe I move the camera around too much, I could always just use the same mic, the lapel microphones, which are wired, just to keep the audio in one certain spot, which is my voice. This thing weighs probably around six to seven pounds. Oh, my arm is dead. I'm using the Rode Video Mic Go, which is known as a shotgun microphone, which just means it's pointing at something and that specific area only. If I put myself in the frame, that is how the audio sounds the best, but I do use this flipped upside down. Should we just be straight up carrying a huge ass DSLR around? Is that the thing to do now? Well, I know you guys still want me to make GoPro videos. I'm gonna be using the GoPro when I don't wanna use my hands. So that's a different website. Should I use the lapel microphone or the Rode Go? This one's convenient because it's attached to the camera. If I move the camera further away, how does the audio sound? We are testing out the audio for the Rode Mic Go. This is filming on a Canon 70D. We also have the Gorillapod. I, G, G, G. Let me know how this looks, man. I'm pretty sure it looks like I'm about to hit a rock. I'm talking about the, the file size. Yeah, man. If you guys take your dog to go run, make a video. Give me your best attempt at recreating a KZE vid. And I'll post your video on this channel. Go out and exercise your dog. Post that vid on YouTube. That would be an awesome video. Dude, the reason why Crypto House is right in front of us. I like, is that a husky? Yeah. I like your dog. Thank you. This is so awkward. Hi, more, bro. Sorry. Hi. Hi, boy. What's up, man? What's up? Nothing. Right? Yeah. Hey, what you doing, bro? A video. Yeah. This dog always howls at him. 
Do you have the horn? Slow down, Crypto. Wait, slow, slow. This is 1280p at 60 frames per second. I'd most likely be shooting 60 frames since there is a lot of fast moving scenes in my footage. There is a good amount of wind. It's been raining lately, so the weather has been acting pretty windy. We're gonna be doing all the different video settings that the Cadence 70 d is capable of shooting. There's two format types that you can shoot in. There's all eye, pretty ideal for heavy editing. You could correct a lot more. Looking at the screen, this thing is looking pretty steady. This is gonna be the second time I've actually taken the camera out with Crypto. I am being extremely strict with him as how fast he goes. Cause if you guys know Crypto, he does love to go extremely fast. He's doing pretty good at that. I do notice that he notices that I am holding something in my hand. Gee. 60 frames per second never looked so good the real question is what will happen if i fall down i'm pretty sure i'll do everything in my possible power to save the camera all the equipment i purchased the camera which is the most expensive are covered with insurance. I did purchase three year insurance for them, which does cover accidentals. I'm not really concerned if I break the camera. Look at this dude not even looking. Look at this dude not even looking. Let me know what you guys think about this footage. God boy, crypto. <laughs> God boy. Go, crypto, go. It is so cold, my feet are like frozen or something i feel like this camel breaks way too many neck you know crypto doesn't give a damn i can just hide behind crypto if anything stop pissing on the pole dog here we go go crypto go this camera is capable of shooting 30 frames per second 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second 60 frames per second will result in way better slow-mo <laughs> But what I'm about to do now, I'm about to switch it to the higher resolution. Again, this is 1080p at 60 frames. We're now shooting at 920 19, at 20. 30 frames per second on all I. All I will take up way more memory. Oh, look, it's the same hawk. That dude must hate me. I do notice the 60 frames, everything seems much smoother. I'm gonna go ahead and stick to 60 frames per second from now on. This setting right here would be best used when the camera's held still. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the 60 frames per second. I'm almost 90% sure that it'll look much better. Let's go. We are now back to 1280p at 60 frames per second. Pretty sure I will be sticking to this unless I'm at the house. If I'm at the house, I'll try and go as high resolution as possible. When there's a lot of moving stuff, I'm going to go ahead and stick to 1280, 60 frames per second. Let me know if you guys did notice a difference or not. This thing tires me out. Let's go take a rest. nice little tip in photography when you're shooting animals you want to get low get on their level and the shot would look much better this looks much better than this I want you guys to go down to the comments would you guys like to see more of these dslr videos or should i stick to the gopro oh my gosh god damn we should have been on that side okay either way i forgot what i was saying the GoPro is much more discreet. That would be the biggest benefit of the GoPro. This thing draws a bunch of attention. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace.
Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.